Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to create these thrusters. These thrusters may look very complex or very technical or FX like thing, but trust me, this is very easy one. I'll just show you how to create this. Let's open the Blender file. First, I will take a cube. I'll go to the side view and just move this pivot point to the top. I will tell you the reason why we need to do that. And I'll move the box up. Let's increase the Z scale. I'll bring it or make it like a rectangle and then apply a scale. Now we have a rectangle shape. Let's view it from the lighting view. Let's remove this sunlight. Now there is no light in the scene because we need to read the emission. I will apply new material. I'll remove this PSDF and I will grab a principal volume. Connect the volume to the volume. Now we read this kind of stuff. I'll simply grab a gradient texture and connect this to emission strength. We read this thing. Now we have to do some changes to make it look like a cylinder or spherical. I will change this linear to quadratic sphere. This will look like this. Select this gradient texture and press Ctrl T. Make sure that you have enabled the node wrangler. If not, then go to the edit preferences and node wrangler and make sure that this is turned on. Once we have this, I'll go to the side view and I'll just connect this to object. We read this kind of sphere shape, but I am a sphere. I'll simply play with the scales in Z axis. I'll make it 0.1 or maybe 0.2 is good. Now we have this cone type shape from all the angles. We are reading this black space here. Let's remove that. I'll make the density zero and we can get rid of that thing. We should do some changes to make it a bit transparent, not this solid. I'll grab a color ramp node, connect it in between gradient texture and the principal volume and just drag this white point close to the black point and make it dark now i will simply add one more point here and make this point white or somewhat like this i will just crunch these values a bit to get more of that transparent space okay now we have this emission strength we need to add some color to this thruster i will take one more color ramp connect this to this from the color and I will connect this color to the emission color. Now we don't have because we need to select the color here. I will pick this white point and make it blue. It's very less so I will just increase the value. Just click to this color tab here and make the values 10. Now we are adding one color so I will just click to this black point and make it greener. So we can get kind of different shading in the, in the emission. This is very subtle. I want to add some noise so I will simply take a noise texture and take a mix color and just connect it in between this color and the gradient texture i will grab this color to b we don't read anything because we need to make the values a bit sharper or contrasty so i'll just make this values like this play with this you can just control shift and click to see the texture now you can change the values like with this factor keep it less or more high as per your need i'll just keep it 0.5 and also play with this scale of the noise i'll make it 10 and now we need to animate that scale so i'll just simply press ctrl t again selecting this noise texture so we get this kind of mapping again we need to animate the values before that i'll set the project i'll make it vertical so i'll keep it 1080 and 1920 and i will use only 100 frames go to the first frame I will make the Z values 0 on last frame I will make it negative 5000 and give a key so we have this kind of texture moving now noise texture on the on the thruster let's name it as outer thruster copy this and also name this to this because I need to make a separate folder we are not going to use only one thruster we are going to use three thrusters here one is outer middle and some heat pass as well let's play it and see now this one looks very subtle it looks good with the noise but we still need to see some more thrust or more power to the emission to do that we need to animate this box that's the reason i kept this pivot point on the top area to animate this in a vertical motion or for that go to the first frame give a key to this z axis in a scale parameter i'll go to the last frame i will just simply add one more key here now go to the graph editor go to the modifier tab and select the noise so I forgot to mention one thing when I created this vibrating effect on the thruster on frame first I made this value 0.1 and give a key and just in two or three frames my thruster will be on default value which is one so I just gave this keys to show that kind of thrusters are getting started.
now we have this kind of vibrating feel on that box we are not animating the volume here we are animating the box now we have the outer thruster i will in the same way we can create the inner thruster as well so i will create one more folder and call it inner thruster i'll simply copy it and paste it in the inner thruster and i'll just turn off this for now i don't want to add any noise to the inner thruster so i'll just remove this noise from it and all the colors i have removed the color because i want to make it small and just play with the scale first and then apply the color later so go to the parameters on the mapping i will simply make this scale a bit less somewhat like this and also this let's view it from the 3d space now this looks very big i'll simply add value 1.5 to make it a bit smaller and make it look like it's a core energy I'll take a color ramp and now let's add some color like warm color and this to emission color and make this color somewhat like this and keep the values like 10 and also in this I'll add some warmer color. It depends on your project you can change the color I'm just keeping this for the inner thrust now. Now we have two thrusters one is outer and one is inner let's play it and see this also looks good or I'll simply turn it on and move this aside so you can see different thrusters i'll bring it back to the center again let's make it zero in y axis so it will go back to the center let's create one more thruster which is heat or more volume so i'll create one more tab and we'll call it heat let's copy it and paste it inside it i'll close this both i just don't want to see them now we have this heat thrust i'll click it and let's change some values first view it from the side view i don't want to keep it small or big i just want to keep it in between the both the thrusters so let's take this value somewhere let's make it like this and also this value i'll keep it 1.1 and in this i'm going to make it a bit brighter i don't want to keep it transparent so click to this third point here and make it a bit brighter so we are reading this kind of water feel inside and i will also introduce the values uh, this was 10 before i'll just make it 5 to make it less brighter because this is going to be a um, heat mat inside the two, two thrusters we can do that in com okay let's see three of them together how they look okay we have three thrusters one is outer inner and the heat kind of thing we can just play with this thruster in com now they are moving all in one if you want you can just change the offset of the animation like for example if i select this shape and and just offset it so they are not moving in the same timing can change the speed as well but i don't want to do that i'll just keep them same because they are just the same thruster with the same energy or uh, they are emitting from the same point so i'm keeping them all same let's bring them back i'll make the value zero in y axis so they will move back to the center now i don't know the reason they are not visible when they are all together maybe alpha is sure i don't know but however i don't want them all together i want them in separate layers so i will render them one by one or i have already explained how to render the layers in blender you can check out this video i have a 3d model which is free i downloaded it from sketchfab i will make it engine i created this folder and i will keep that object in the engine and i will just go to the origin and i'll make it in the center now view it from the top angle i'll move it to the center side view let's see the lighting view let's make it a bit bigger now this looks very dark this object but because we don't have any light set up in the scene that's why so just ignore that for a moment i want to add some light that should interact with the thruster so for that i will create a folder and call it first light and i will add a point light here and move it up inside that funnel and i will change the values to 500 maybe that's too bright let's keep it less okay somewhat like this and i'll make it warmer or any color you can change that in comp as well because we have the control for that i'll keep it something like this because that is the inner thrust there that kind of color it has so i'll just keep it like warmer or i can keep it blue as well you can change that in comp i'll move it a bit let's assume that our energy source is somewhat here i'll just increase the power a bit i'll make it 150 and see how that look okay now make sure that this object or this thruster is connected or parented to this engine because if you have a moving object like spaceship or anything then this thruster should be moving along with this object so for that you can just click this object 
and then select this and control p to parent this with the engine so whenever this object is moving with the engine or it has animation your thruster will be connected to that for all the time now this shot is static so i don't have to connect all that object to this engine now in some cases we need to have some mat like gradient mat to adjust the color in comp for that i will just create one more box here and i will call it mats to create that mat i have copied one of the thruster and i will remove all of the values that we have added and i'm going to use just the principal vstf to create that mat connect it to the object surface we don't read anything because there is no light in the scene that's why i'm going to use the emission i'll use a gradient texture again and connect to the strength we read this kind of thing i will get the texture coordinates and the mapping now we have this kind of effect from the back we need to rotate it i'll simply go to these values and i will make it 90 degrees in y axis we'll go to the side view and see so we are getting this kind of mat here or emission strength we can use that as a mat i'll take a color ramp and i'll just crunch these values a bit and you can play with this ease or any options see which one is good i'll just keep it like this add one more and make it bit less bright so we can get more gradient effect and i can use this as a mat make sure that this mat is also connected to this object so that this mat will be moving along with this like for example i just connect it and if my object is moving our mat is also moving with the object so till now we have this mat we have this inner thruster we have this heat thruster and we have this outer thruster we are going to render this in separate layers so that was the basic idea of creating thrusters using that met method i have just created this scene using the assets that i have i wanted to show my shot in an interesting way that's the reason i just made this whole setup and added a camera here and then just created one scene simple scene like some experiment or science lab or something and I have added that thruster to this object and this is what I got here. So this is my file with the thrusters. I have made this video only to show the thrusters. This is like additional part I have made to make it more interesting. So now we can jump to the nuke to see how to compile that renders in nuke. Now I have this renders in nuke. Let me show you the renders. This layer is an interior. The whole scene or setup is in one layer. I just reduced that color of the point light to white because I thought of making that changes in nuke because I can control it in nuke. So I did not keep it warmer, I just made it neutral. And I have these three thrusters, separate layers. I just kept it blue or you can change the color in form. And one is outer and one is inner layer. Now you can see that inner layer has two cores. We can simply create that in Blender. I'll just show you how to create that. Let's see with this one you can simply go to the emission strength where that we have connected this color ramp in that color ramp i will simply grab this here and i will add one more point here and make it darker and then i will add one more point make it a bit brighter and also change this to bright or something so we'll get more different variations and then you can change with the scale or just keep playing around this and this is like until you get some kind of desired look you can just keep playing with the with the gradient values and then you can get this kind of shapes now let's go back to the nuke you can see that there is a bit color change as well it looks more magenta because i kept it like that now compiling these three layers is really easy i can just take one by one i'll take the inner thrust first i'll merge it on the shot i will keep it on plus mode I'll take a grade node and make it a bit brighter and also change the color. I'll reduce the blue and make it a bit warmer. This engine has a neutral color inside it that I changed the point color in Blender because I thought of changing that in Nuke. I'll simply take a grade node and I can change the color. I'm not going to play with the passes because this is a very static shot so I can simply do that here. And I'll take a roto. Now you can take a crypto mat or you can do that stuff. This tutorial is only to show how to create thrusters. So that was my main motto. And I will take the second thrust, which is the heat. I'll do the same thing. I'll copy this grade and I will simply merge it. I'm not going to merge it here. I'm going to merge it separately because that would be good to add glow and all. And I will make it on plus mode too. I will remove this grade or I will take a color correction node and I will just make it decide. I will take one more grade and make that grade a bit warmer. I will take a roto mask 
and here comes that mat so that is the reason i have applied this gradient texture on this box as a mat so you can render this and use that as a control in nuke because in some cases we have a moving object like spaceship or something then doing a roto in nuke is going to be difficult so it's really useful if i just take this kind of mat and connect this to the moving object and use that as a control mat in nuke i'll take one more grid i'll make it a bluish and i'll connect one more mask and only use that part okay now let's take the third which is outer make it on plus mode i'll just copy this everything and paste it here so this is the basic idea of layering the stuff now in the initial frame you need to add some more bloom to the shot like when thruster is opening you can add a node called optical glow so this node is really useful for this kind of work and this looks more desired so i'll just simply go to this and make it more blue so this is the basic idea of using these thrusters i, I just wanted to make my shot a bit more interesting that's why i just added more particles and all that to the scene now the reason behind i take this renders in nuke and do the compositing is because i have more control in nuke like if i want to change some timing or and want to add some more glow or any effect that is much time taking in 3d softwares and when i have the separate passes like this I have more control in compositing to do more comping work like adding elements and extra bloom or any kind of time offset I can do. We have merged all those passes. This shot looks very subtle. We don't really read that kind of impact to this scene. That's the reason I just started adding 2D element and I call them secondary element like this. So you can see I have added some horizontal blur and lensing, lens flare or kind of thing and some 2D elements like the sparks and dust and some dust is hitting on the camera and the spark on the ground. So these all the things that gives a lot to the shot, they contribute a lot sense to the shot and make your output look better. Then just compare this with the raw render and this is the compositing. There is a huge difference between both of them. This is not like you cannot do it in blender you can do it in blender or any 3d software but but for me nuke is more handy and that's the reason i just take more passes and take control in nuke to decompositing and let me show you my com file quickly this is the beauty render i have that background and i did some time offset like it's the shot starts at very start frame i just wanted to push it like 10 or 15 frames ahead so that shot will read static in the beginning and then the blast will happen or the sudden thrust will happen so to bring that effect i just time offset with this shot and then played with the elements then made that neutral thrust bit orange or warm added some interactive light on the ceiling and making the bg darker because i wanted to add some haze this kind of thing i already have mentioned or showed how to use them or using the crypto mats or haze pass in my ship landing sequence if you haven't seen please go and check these are some interesting videos i already posted and and this might help to understand this shot as well added some brightness to the shot and also add the blurry thing behind the thrusters that's because i wanted to read that kind of heat it's just eye blur thing that i showed before so for this kind of blur or this kind of hazy thing you can use this mask uh, or a roto if your shot is moving or anything that is very complex to roto try to get a mat that i showed before and that mat will help you to just uh, control this blur thing and these are the thrust passes i just merged them and made some grading changes and added this kind of vertical blur in between like this can give a more like bloom kind of effect and added the heat edge instead of adding this roto for the control you can use that cg mask or that mask we created in blender that can help here too and more particles kind of thing these are the blender particles and some more bloom and 2d elements like smoke or this kind of additional ground dust there are a few important thing in the shot but one of them is like this exposure this is the exposure i used to brighten up the whole shot like on this frame shot is less bright or neutral like if this if i see the values this is zero and as the thruster starts i made this exposure level high to get that kind of sudden bloom in the scene and just animated that thing so this is helping to bring that kind of sudden visual impact in the scene and then the second important thing is this camera shake i have added this camera shake when the thrust happens so i, I was just seeing some references and all the references have that kind of camera shake so i just use that and then few comping stuff like adding chromatic abrasion and grain and all that stuff i always do and this is the whole final comp i have i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or anything please let me know in the comments and see you in the next video thank you Thank you.